don't make the mistake of getting a cat without doing your homework. Not all cats are easy to care for. Some are incredibly needy and require a ton of attention. Lucky for you, I made this video of cat breeds that are perfect for first-time owners. I'm going to split the video into four parts. Breeds for first-time owners that require minimal grooming, breeds that require more grooming, cats that are not a good fit, and potentially okay breeds. Let's begin. British Shorthair The British Shorthair is one of the best breeds for first-time owners. They're also one of the oldest recognized breeds. British Shorthairs are prized for their soft, plush coats and rounded bodies. You could almost mistake them for living teddy bears. Their chubby cheeks are totally pinchable and make them look adorable. British Shorthairs are ideal family cats and enjoy being with their owners. But on the other hand, they're not particularly fond of being picked up or held. This beautiful breed comes in various colors and patterns, but the traditional British short hair has a solid gray color. Scottish. Whether it's fold or straight, their personalities are very similar. Scottish cats can make great, affectionate pets that thrive on human interaction. That being said, they're not too demanding or pushy. They can be left alone during the day and will reward you with purrs and cuddles when you come back. They're medium-sized cats, but they're still pretty muscular. There's one thing to consider. The fold version is, unfortunately, prone to a severe health issue. Berman. A surprising breed in this category is the gorgeous Berman. This royal-looking cat with crystal blue eyes is really easy to care for. Berman cats have a lovely temperament. They're playful but not overactive, affectionate, and gentle. They're super docile and love their people deeply. Bermans have single-layered fur that's not prone to forming mats. Additionally, they're medium-sized cats, being perfect for smaller spaces. American Shorthair British Shorthair's cousin, the American Shorthair, is also one of the best breeds for first-time owners. Broad-chested, muscular with solid legs, the American Shorthair is a curious, alert, and loving cat. Its round head and chubby cheeks make him impossible to resist. The American Shorthair is comfortable on his own and can be left alone during the day. The most popular pattern is the gorgeous silver tabby, but there are many colors in which these cats come. Exotic Shorthair The exotic shorthair is basically a Persian without all the fluff. These cats are super laid back, like to sit near their owners and even on them. Their docile temperament means they're not suited for super busy households. On the other hand, they're great for people looking for a relaxed and chill companion. The exotic shorthair is still playful, but only exhibits short bursts of energy. That being said, it's a breed that's prone to some severe health issues, so do your research before getting one. Domestic Shorthair Though it's not a breed, the Domestic Shorthair is definitely an excellent choice for first-time cat owners. In case you're confused, I'm talking about the alley cat we're all so familiar with. Even if these cats come in a variety of personalities, they're not usually demanding or pushy. Being short-haired means that they need minimal grooming. You can choose the perfect cat for you by visiting your local shelter. And another advantage when adopting a cat has to do with the money you're going to pay. These cats are almost free. We've talked a lot about short-haired cats, and now it's time for the fluffier breeds to take the spotlight. British Longhair These cats are, much like their short-haired version, affectionate without being pushy, and they look pretty awesome too. Just look at all the fluff! Scottish Longhair The Scottish Longhair is another happy medium sort of cat. This breed is highly adaptable and easygoing. Its coat, however, requires a bit more attention. Ragdolls If you haven't heard of the ragdoll breed, I don't know what rock you've lived under. Joking aside, these cats are basically a massive ball of fluff filled with love. They're gentle, laid-back, highly adaptable, and somewhat playful. They don't do much running and, as a result, can get chubby. They're long and dense fur makes them even more adorable, but that comes at a cost. You'll need to spend quite a bit taking care of it. Plus, ragdolls have one of the most fascinating histories, so make sure to check out my videos on them. Ragamuffin Ragdoll's descendants, the ragamuffins, have a brilliant name as well. They kept the rag part from their ancestors and added muffin, which perfectly describes their temperaments. These cats are also gentle and laid-back, having a lower-than-average level of energy. They're similar in size to 
to ragdolls, but they come in all colors and patterns. Plus, their fur is shorter than a ragdoll's, so they're a bit less maintenance. Domestic long hair. Next on the list is the domestic long hair. Similar to short-haired stray cats, you can find fluffy ones too. Just as they're less hairy versions, these cats are usually highly adaptable and cost next to nothing. They're not asking for much, just a home and affection. Persians. There's one more breed in the fluffy category, and that is the super popular Persian. These cats are fantastic for people looking for a well-behaved, adaptable, and chill companion. But just as the exotic, the Persian is prone to developing some severe conditions. Oh, and let's not forget about their incredible long coats. Their super soft hair needs daily attention. This breed is actually the most time-consuming one in terms of grooming. And now, before I move on to the potential okay breeds, here are the ones that I don't recommend for first-time owners. Bengals, Savannas, and the Siamese are all gorgeous-looking breeds in their own unique way. Sadly, I don't recommend them for first-time cat owners. They can be pretty pushy when they want something, which is usually a ton of attention. Plus, they're super active and playful, especially the Savanna and Bengal. However, they prefer to play with you rather than playing alone, so you'll need to take the time for that. Additionally, Savannas can become aggressive if they haven't received the proper socialization as kittens. On the other hand, the Siamese and the Bengal are affectionate cat breeds. Unfortunately, they can develop separation anxiety if you don't give them the proper attention. And now, let's move on to potentially okay breeds. These cat breeds have some traits that may not be suited for a first-time owner, but I'll be sure to highlight them. The Sphinx and the Burmese have adorable personalities. They're super affectionate, and some could find them needy. I personally personally would love to have such cats. Anyway, since they're so affectionate, I don't recommend them if you're working away from home. You'll need to make sure to give them the affection they need, as they're prone to developing separation anxiety. Additionally, the Sphinx is super playful, which is another thing to consider. We have four more breeds in the potentially okay category. Russian Blues are a bit different than the rest. They're active, but they're great at entertaining themselves. They also require minimal grooming, but they're super demanding when it comes down to food. Russian Blues are highly determined and will wake up their owners when it's mealtime. They're also clever and can get in any place you can imagine. If these are okay for you, then a Russian Blue is a great option as they're usually comfortable with being left alone during the day. The other three breeds can be tricky. They're pretty active and require daily playtime sessions. Also, they're large, meaning they need bigger homes. Don't get one if you don't have the time to play with them. Otherwise, they can become destructive. Additionally, they too can get anywhere and require quite a lot of grooming. That's why I have mixed feelings about them. Overall, I think they're not suited for all first-time owners. If you have little time at your disposal or are a lazy person, don't get them. And if you're not sure, watch my videos about them. They're in the description. It's true that I didn't manage to cover all breeds. In this video, I told you my opinion about the most popular ones. But as I learn more about different breeds, I will be sure to give you an update. These are the best breeds, in my opinion, for a regular person looking to get a cat. However, you know yourself and your needs better than I do. If you think that the breeds I don't recommend would be a good fit for you, then go for it. Just think about what you really want from a cat and choose the best one according to your needs. I really hope this video helped you in making the right choice. If so, give it a like so it can reach more people. Oh, and check out my channel. I have dedicated videos on most of the breeds mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video.